Hey, what's up? It's your girl, Neek, and you're tuned in to Neek at Night. And I'm giving you guys yet another R. Kelly update. I updated you guys last week, and I let you guys know how he had got his whole sex abuse thing reinstated. It had had a default judgment because he said that he could not read and he didn't know what his paperwork was. Then, in the same time, he also paid Drea Kelly $62,000 in child support, and the, the internet literally dragged her. I showed you guys the receipts on what all social media had to say. Everybody felt like she just wanted the money anyways. It was all a ploy to get money. And they did not think that she was sincere in anything that she has been saying or doing thus far. I showed the receipts on all of the comments that people were making after her press conference because she did a press conference after she received the new $62,000 payment. Well, according to TMZ, it looks like he has paid up ahead, two months ahead, to keep the ball rolling and in good standing, to keep the child support hounds off his back. I'm going to go on over to TMZ to read to you guys the report on what they're saying as far as him paying two months ahead. And as you guys know, his payments are pretty steep. They're $20,000. And as you also know, he is currently being muted. He is not able to perform. He's not able to do certain shows. So of course that is going to affect his income. And quite naturally, I don't understand why it is not reduced at this moment, being that he's not able to work like he normally would have been able to before all this, being that he has not been convicted. But hey, it is what it is. I'm going to read to you guys what TMZ is saying. And let me um, scroll up for you guys so that you guys can see this. Okay, so on the website it says, R. Kelly is getting ahead of his child support obligations, ponying up the dough two months in advance to avoid another jail scare. The disgraced singer's crisis manager, Daryl Johnson, tells TMZ, Kelly's family attorney, Lisa Domenico, appeared in Chicago court Tuesday afternoon and paid $41,666 to cover June and July's child support payments to his ex-wife, Drea Kelly. As for the 32 k Kelly still owes in the interest on the back child support, um, NQ decision was made in court, but Johnson says they don't plan on paying anyways. He tells us at no point in the foreseen future do we see paying interest of child support as of May 14, 2019. Mr. Kelly is current, um, current on support payments, so that means like he's brought up to speed. As we previously reported, Kelly avoided another trip to the Slammer earlier this month after appearing in court and paying all of the back child support he owed um, a cool 62K. And that's what I was talking to you guys um, in the beginning where he paid her the 62K. And after she got the money, she did a press conference and the internet dragged her. Anyways, um, so they also said, remember, he's on the hook for 20000 $833 per month since January 2009. So you got to think that was 10 years ago that this order was put in place of this $20,000 per month child support payment. And clearly his income is not the same in 2019 as it is in 20, I mean, as it was in 2009. Um, I mean, that's clear as day. Um, with this, with his support covered for the next three months, Kelly can focus more on the pressing matters like the 10 counts of aggravated criminal sexual abuse involving underage girls. So that is the report according to TMZ. It looks like he is now paid up for two more months in advance and he's trying to keep the people off of his back, but they say that they have no plans on playing on the interest. But again, I don't understand how this was put in place in 2009. And clearly we're in 2019, his, um, his shows have been canceled, he's been muted, he's not been able to travel, he's not able to go overseas, he's not able to fulfill tours. So I'm not understanding why the judge is not decreasing that amount and why it stays at $20,000. That kind of doesn't make sense to me, but I guess this is before now that he has to pay on. So I guess, you know, I, I would think going forward after this, it would possibly be uh, lower. And I guess, you know, if he didn't make no changes, then they got to keep paying him what he started off paying in, until he adjusted it. I don't know. But I don't know. It just seems like some type of reduction or something still could have been happened. But hey, 
she got the money he paid it obviously he had the money to pay it got it from somewhere so it is what it is what do you guys think about this whole r kelly situation the child support payment what do you think his fate is going forward with this whole um child abuse uh, or sex abuse case with these 10 counts going forward the reinstated sex abuse case from the girl that's in detroit what do you guys think will happen going forward do you think he will be convicted do you think he won't be convicted what do you guys think leave your comments below and thank you for watching. If you are not subscribed, be sure to hit that subscribe button, like the video, and comment. If you do not like the video, you can even put a dislike on the video, but just let me know that you stopped by. All right, guys. Peace.